What is it? We can't go any further. We need to stop. Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over.
Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment, and we can continue. Gaza here. This will help you feel better. Once we reach the Citadel, you'll be fine. Thank you, Dr. I'm feeling better already. Let us continue, and not waste more time here. Oh, right. if you're up to it, we'll continue. This is your present. What is it? Is not a good time to be talking. What is it? What is it?
What is it? Name's Paladin Bale. Of course. But you'd have to secure the permission of Elder Lions and, well... Dr. Madison Lee, I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! Need to speak with Scribe Rothschild and Elder Lyons. They must be told what is going on. and I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lyons. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I've heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. 
There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we fear. Medicine, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Unclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. He knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well. We'll sort this all out. Hail. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. On deck. At ease, son. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A Ring, near the Great Hall. More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast, and exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage, these virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the Super Mutants are the least of our worries. So be it. Would you believe no? 
It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Why, yes. Yes, indeed, there is someone. Our intrepid paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor. When they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. The Brotherhood is Hail. at your service. with your presence here. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear, these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back. Fucking cowards. Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. If you'll excuse me, I need...
Long time no see. What's going on with you? How's it going? See? We're not so bad. Good to see you. Well, look who's back. Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm gonna have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, you bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. You'll find it just about anywhere. On junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. Oh, a human. Well, hello. Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. It's... It's been so long since I had a customer. Well, we spend it at Carol's, or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. If any... Dr. Barrows, at your service. What brings you to the chop shop? Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid.
My dear friend, obviously you take no appreciation. Yes, what is it now? Please be brief, I'm quite busy. afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. Don't worry, though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's Rangers will show up soon and take her home. She had multiple lacerations, contusions, broken leg, some internal bleeding and blunt force trauma. She hasn't been conscious since they brought her in a few days ago. I'd say she tangled with some super mutants and lost. It's a miracle she isn't dead. Oh, very well. I'll do what I can. I just hope her body can withstand the strain. Humans are so fragile. Why are you just standing? What? Where am I? What happened? How long have I been out? Right. Can't remember what I was doing. Wait! Oh shit! My men! My team! What happened to them? That's not the way I do things. Do you have any idea what it would do to my reputation if word got around that Riley of Riley's Rangers was laid up in a hospital bed? You're pretty sharp, kid. We packed plenty of firepower, but that didn't help us from getting our asses into serious trouble. I didn't expect to make it out of there alive. We were mapping the Vernon Square part of the downtown ruins and got jumped by a super mutant ambush party. Usually it isn't a problem, but this group was bigger than usual. We fought our way into Our Lady of Hope Hospital, hoping to find cover. You got it. More of the ugly bastards just kept coming. We fought our way to the roof and found a way across to the Statesman Hotel next door. The super mutants seemed driven, like they smelled blood. They kept following us. Once in the hotel, the only way to go was up. Very bad move, but we had no choice. On the way, we lost Theo, one of my guys. We were unable to get the ammo case off of his body as we were pushed onwards. So, guns almost dry, we hit the roof of the Statesman. Last stand? Well, we hope not. We figured we'd get up there and get a better signal to radio the Brotherhood of Steel for help. Problem is, help never arrived. Vernon Square is so thick with the super mutants, I don't think they could slip through. Get the Rangers home. Please. That's all I want. I don't care how you do it. I was holding my breath on that one, I think. I wasn't sure what you were going to say. All I ask is that you hurry. I don't know how much longer they will be able to survive up there. I also recommend you try and find the body of Theo, one of my men. He was carrying our main ammo supply. Here, let me punch the ammo box code and some better directions into your pit boy there. Careful out there. <laughs> 